Figure out what caused a plane to crash in this rural property in Gillespie County, killing a man and a nine year old little girl. KXA's Lauren Landman has been just east of Fredericksburg in Stonewall, gathering information all day long. An orange cone on the side of the highway is the only thing we can see telling us a serious investigation is happening in this field. It's hiding what everyone in this small town is talking about. A plane crash. The woman who called 911 didn't want to speak publicly, but told me she saw the plane go down in this field. She says she couldn't hear or tell exactly what went wrong. Investigators aren't releasing much information right now, but did confirm the man was flying a small single engine plane. He has been identified as 39 year old Shane Buck. The little girl has yet to be named by authorities, but Fredericksburg ISD says she was a fourth grade student at Fredericksburg Elementary and that grief counselors were on site all day. We also spoke with the pilot's neighbors who say they were shocked to hear the news and saw children playing in the backyard just last week. And I can always sort of see them through their fence over there playing and laughing. The, the children always seem to get along really, really well. Lots of laughter that would come out of that backyard. So um, I feel like that was a very, very happy family. Locals here in Stonewall tell me Shane was renting a hangar less than a mile from where he crashed the plane. The owner of the private hangars didn't want to say much other than they are cooperating with investigators however they can. The property owner tells me FAA investigators were out here all night and he expects them to come back tonight to finish. In Stonewall, Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Now the type of plane Buck was flying is called a RANS S6ES. It's an experimental aircraft you can build at your home. In addition to the FAA, the NTSB also sent an investigator out to Gillespie County. The NTSB says their investigator will be on the ground for the next two to three days. There, they will document the site, examine the aircraft and its engine, speak with any witnesses, look at weather conditions, the pilot's records, and any maintenance records. After that, in a week, the NTSB says they will release a preliminary report into what they have learned so far.